Today we're going to be taking a look at the Punked MP02 and if this device is the best minimalist device available today. Thanks for watching this video, let's get started. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jose and here we talk about digital minimalism and how to stay focused within our lives. So if that's something that enters you, make sure to subscribe. I've been testing the Punked MP02 for about a week and a little bit right now, and I want to offer you my thoughts in this short review. This device is a communicator device. If you want a device that has calls, text, calculator, calendar, notes, and a clock for alarms or stopwatch and things like that, this is your device. If you want those six things and that's it, you don't want anything else. You don't want anything like a GPS or a music player or a podcast player. You just want the bare bones and you want it to work it well. This is your device. I know that people have had issues with this device before version 1.7, but the version that I tested was very good. I want to talk about a little bit of the issues towards the end of the video. Let's start with call quality, however. Call quality was very good. The earpiece and the speaker were very loud. People heard me clearly and I heard them clearly. I had no issues whatsoever. When compared to the Light Phone 2, this device is louder, better, and crystal clear. Now, the drawback is that in the United States, it only works with GSM networks. And even then, it only works better with AT&T networks. So AT&T networks have Vo LTE, Voice over LTE, T-Mobile networks do not. And this device does not work with Verizon. So if you are a Verizon owner, just go to the Light Phone 2. It will be a better experience overall. Now, call quality, very well managed. It has a toggle for your contacts and you are able to toggle the buttons, which are very well constructed by the way. And you're able to call people very quickly, very easily. I had no issues whatsoever when it comes to call quality. Messaging, it has a dedicated message button that you're able to access your messages and the menus are very well done. The messaging is very good and also very bad if you need two features. So it is very good if you are someone that needs international keyboards. The MP02 has international keyboards, Spanish, French, German. It does have English and I believe it even supports Arabic. So that I think that is coming or maybe it's coming in the next update in 2.0. But it does support a lot more options than the Light Phone 2. So if you're somebody that needs foreign keyboards, this is the device for you. Now, if you're someone that needs MMS and you're someone that needs group messaging, this is not the device for you. That was the biggest bummer for me when it comes to the MP02. The biggest single bummer is that it does not support MMS, so it does not show any images or anything else. Of course, the Light Phone 2 doesn't either, but at least with the Light Phone 2 and Verizon, I'm able to get pictures with the Verizon tool, with the Verizon message tool. There's a video I made about that, so make sure to check that out. But with the MP02, because it runs on Cricket or AT&T networks, at least there is no tool yet that you're able to retrieve those messages. And to me, that was the biggest bummer. But again, the text messaging experience is very good. It's faster than the Light Phone 2. I was able to type with T9, the predictive text is, is decent. It's not the most amazing T9 that you have seen, but it is way faster than when it comes to typing with the Light Phone 2. So I really enjoy the texting experience. Now let's move on to battery life. Battery life was good one to two days, maybe even three days if you're able to use it moderately and lightly. And of course, with a device that is limited, you're going to be doing that. I was trying to test it to the best of my ability, making calls, making texts, phone calls, and everything like that. And some of the numbers that I came around was the drainage overnight is about 10 to 15%. And when it comes to a phone call, about an hour is about 7%. So if you have good signal as well, you will have better performance with the battery life. If you have bad signal, you will have not so good performance. I had from 50 to 75% of reliability. I live in a more rural area when it comes to the coverage with Cricket. So if you live in a city, I believe you'll be better off because AT&T has better coverage in the city than in rural areas. Battery life was very good. No complaints here. The next area that I want to talk about is the UI and the optional tools. When it comes to the UI, it was very, very responsive, very fast, very snappy. Whenever you ask the MP02 to do something, it did it. And Right there, you see the menus, you have access to the calendar, the notes, the clock, and you're able to just finger around and do all of the different things that you need to do, the calculator. It was just very seamless. Now, again, some people have had issues before version 1.7. There was bugs and unresponsiveness and everything was kind of like going around. But with version 1.7, this device is at least 
on beta plus so it's not final product they're still fixing a couple of other things and that's why version 2.0 is coming later this month but as of right now it's a very very good and solid product i enjoyed using it it was very responsive very fast and the menus were very detailed if you press the top key it will take you to kind of like a connectivity menu you're able to turn on the network the battery check the battery quickly silent mode airplane mode and then you have bluetooth on and tethering so you have a lot of different options and different things that you can have and just the menus were very detailed you're, you have a lot of customization when it comes to the menus and i really enjoyed that when it comes to coming from the light phone where the menus are too simple here you have more compatibility more you know kind of like user connection and just usability overall the, the menus were very clear and they were all separate so one of my major complaints with the iPhone 2 is that you see the messages and the calls everywhere just in one place this is separate you have a message tab and you also have a phone tab so you're able to keep them separate not just together with a barrage of notifications in there of you call and you text and you know interposing one between the other so i really enjoyed that from the mp02 security is another thing that i like to talk about especially after a post that came out i believe on monday about the light phone being kind of like a launcher on top of android 8.1 which kind of brings some questions and I'm, I'm maybe making a video with the creator of that post so that we can explain a little bit more about what's happening but the mp02 runs android as well uh, customized of course because it doesn't run the apps but it has a layer of extra protection with blackberry protect i don't know much about blackberry protect on top of that blackberry is always a secure company it does have a feature on the on the settings that it says security and it does says excellent so i'm not usually one to distrust everything and things of that nature of course i do prefer open source operating systems like the mudita pure which is coming at some point time in the future which i'll be reviewing as well but again security seems to be a secure device it has that layer of blackberry i am probably going to dig a little bit more into that and maybe explain it whenever we made the video with the uh, guy hopefully he he accepts and we're able to make a video on security for the iphone 2 and also for this device so it was very good but it's, it's something for you to keep in mind that this is based on android it's not an open source or their own operating system but it does have that extra layer of blackberry protect a couple of the quirks when it comes to the mp02 it does not have a headphone jack so it doesn't have a headphone jack you're not able to connect it so bluetooth compatibility was very good but again still hit or miss i was able to connect some devices not all devices uh, and i was able to connect uh, just a little bit for my car so that was an improvement but it didn't hold the connection that longer so you know it is what it is it has some quirks it does have usb-c which i appreciate it just because the light phone 2 has micro b and i'm tired of having two chargers everywhere i go my computer has usb-c this has usb-c it was very easy to just go around with you know my computer and this charging with the same charger so that was that was definitely good but it doesn't have a headphone jack it doesn't have podcasts or music or things of that nature so if you're something looking for that move to the light phone 2 or maybe to the medita pure which is coming now next year one quirk that i did find and it was a little bit weird was that i had issue turning it on so i decided to keep it on for most of the time every time i turned it off it took a little bit longer or maybe a couple tries to turn it on i don't know why maybe one of those was because it was updating or, or things of that nature but i had an issue turning it on and maybe this is something that other people have experienced in the past it turned on after twice that, that i was able to, to turn it on but you know that's one thing that i was kind of concerned i was like oh is this device bricked or something like that um so i didn't know but it worked from there and I, i've kept it charged so not to come into that issue again final thoughts when it comes to the mp02 this is a great device responsiveness is very good i felt as if you know it was an improvement over the light phone 2 and over you know kind of like that minimalist kind of devices it was very responsive very good i felt it, it is a finished product and the update that is coming on 2.0 will have i believe signal which is a messenger and you'll be able to have group messaging with that so if you're willing to wait for 2.0 then you know that's actually a, a good thing because you may be able to have some group messaging for those users that have signal 
Signal is not very popular, at least here in the United States. People use WhatsApp or Messenger or, you know, non-secure or iMessage, which is one of the biggest ones. But again, if you are willing to wait and see what happens with the MP02 and Signal, that will be something for you to wait. Uh, the device is very good when it comes to communicating and doing the bare things. So if you're someone that needs phone calls, text messaging, calculator, calendar, a clock, and notes, this is the device for you. Again, that is with the big if of you don't need MMS and you don't need group messaging. It, it, the device has group messaging, but it's not that great. It puts a lot of text messages here and there and you have to reply individually. So. That's a little bit of a bummer, but the device is very good, very durable. I really enjoyed the keys. They were nice and flat, very round, very tactile, and the device holds very well. I think this is a great device. I'm glad that it is offered. The price is $349. So when it comes to the competition, it's a little bit difficult, at least for me to, to recommend one or the other. I think it just depends on who you are and what are your preferences. If you want a device that has more robust compatibility in the US and you also have extra tools like music, podcasts, and upcoming tools such as the GPS and the notes and everything that will be coming in the future, again, this is kind of like a future promise, then the Lifephone 2 is for you, $299. If you want a bare bones, works today, has a fluid interface, and it doesn't have much quirks except for that specific thing about messaging, this is the device for you. The MP02, excellent device. Really, really enjoyed using it. I hope that you guys found some value in this review and I hope that you have questions about it. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them below and I'll make sure to go through the menus and anything else that we may be able to find on the MP02. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.